Hi everyone, this video gives a summary about our final year project ACA, a RISC-5 chip for general purpose. The SOC ACA is developed by interfacing different peripherals with an existing 32-bit pipeline RISC-5 ISA based core. The world of processors is currently dominated by x86 and ARM processors which are available in several variants and are highly optimizable for different types of embedded systems. Then why RISC-V? RISC-V is a free and open instruction set architecture enabling a new era of processor innovation through open standard collaboration which provides simplicity clean state design, modularity, and stability unlike other ISAs. This project is designed using the hardware description language Verilog and verified using GTK Wave, an open source waveform viewer. This is the top level block diagram of the proposed SOC. It mainly consists of four peripherals UART, I2S, SPI, and I2C. Now let's jump into the design and implementation part. UART stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. It is a common and simple serial interface used in data transfer applications between two devices. Data format consists of a start bit, 8 data bits and a stop bit. The transmission line is always held high. It is designed using finite state machine for receiver and transmitter. I2S Inter-IC Sound it is a standard serial bus interface used for connecting digital audio devices. It consists of a line for two time multiplex data channels, left and right channels, a word select line and a clock line. Serial clock drives the flow of data in the system whereas word select is to choose between right and left channels of audio data. Serial Peripheral Interface or SPI It is based on master-slave configuration. The master sends a clock signal to begin communication. It selects the slave by enabling the chip select line. SPI is full duplex. It means master and slave can send data at the same time through MOSI and MESO respectively. It works like a circular shift register. Inter-integrated circuit, commonly known as I2C. I2C protocol is a way of serial communication between different devices to exchange their data with each other. Its data format consists of start bit, 7 bit slave address, read write bit, acknowledgement bit, 8 bit data and a stop bit. It is designed using a finite state machine model. After designing the peripherals, let's check out how the processor communicates with these peripherals. This is done using memory mapped IO. Processor places the address, data and control signal on the respective buses. The address decoder will enable the selected peripheral by decoding the address. This diagram shows the IO device connected to memory mapped IO. Next, how do data transfer take place when the processor is running at its own speed and the peripheral at some other clock rate? Won't it lead to data loss? The answer is yes. Transferring data between different clock domains may lead to data loss and data corruption. To avoid this, we have used FIFO, which is designed using a dual port block RAM. Next is clock tree distribution, which is used to generate multiple clock domains from a single clock. Here, a free running clock tree is designed, which doesn't require any special phase lock or synchronization requirement. Now, let's check out the results. These are the final output waveform generated in GTK Wave. Address, two data lines W data and R data and control signal can be seen. The control signal selects between read and write operation. Moving on to the conclusion. Here we have tested this peripheral system of the SOC with a test bench. Future work includes writing a common test bench for core and the design peripherals and testing it at the industry standards. Thanks for watching.